All right, guys, so we have just arrived here at Naples and we are in town on a mission. Yes, our mission is very simple to eat as much pizza as possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and my teenage self is very happy at the moment. Pizza is my favorite food growing up, and we are visiting Naples, the birthplace yes. of pizza. So, we've got two days here. Our goal is to try and hit up five different pizzerias. We've searched the best of the best, and yeah. we're gonna visit them all, and then we're gonna rank them and let you know what our favorite one is. Exactly. Come join us on a pizza fest. Let's eat pizza. Yeah. All right guys, so we are now approaching our first pizzeria of the day. It's just down the street. We're gonna be eating at L'Antica Pizzeria da Michele. This is one of the most famous pizzerias in the whole city because they filmed a scene of Eat, Pray, Love here with the Julia Roberts when she comes to Naples to devour pizza. So yeah, this one is meant to be a really good. We've come here early. They open at 11 in the morning. There's already a bit of a small crowd gathered outside. But yeah, we should be able to make it in with the first group and then time to eat pizza. We've made it. We were the part of the first wave to get in right at 11. The first wave. There's already a lineup yes. outside. Yeah. And we got a table right by the pizza oven so we can watch them prepare it. So we're going to be ordering two kinds of pizza. We're planning to go for the margarita and the marinara. And yeah, it should be good. Yeah. So we are already digging in here. Our pizzas have arrived. I'm starting off with a margarita. Sam's gonna tackle the marinara. And first of all, check out the size of this. We ordered the normal one, which is like falling off the plate pretty much. Oh, they're so big. So yeah, let's just dig right into this. Oh my goodness. This is just so like moist and juicy. I've heard it described even as soupy, especially in the middle, where you've got like your tomato and oil and yeah. cheese mixing together. And how is that? That's wonderful. Wonderful? All right, it is All right, guys, turn. I am trying the marinara. marinara. And there's Ooh, only you're using your hands. Yeah, there's only two kinds of pizzas here. Yeah. One with cheese, one without cheese. So I'm trying the one without cheese. Yeah, you can only order marinara or margarita. Oh. Wow. How is that? It's the best pizza I've ever had without cheese. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's so good. And check out the garlic. Like I can smell the garlic yeah. across the table. I don't know. And that looks like some sexy pizza right there. That's very good. Oh yeah, and this place is packed. It is. Well, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow is one way to describe that pizza experience. So it was delicious. It was amazing. It was huge. It was crowded. It was crowded. It was yeah. fun. <laughs> if you come here, expect to have to share a table with yeah. complete strangers. And yeah, it's super tight space. You're yeah, we had we had like this. we had two sets of strangers join us. Yep, yep. Throughout the meal, but it was awesome. We were right by the oven. I got to get some mm -hmm. good shots. And yeah, the two different pizzas we had were just incredible. Wonderful. Like, Wonderful. I've never had a juicier pizza than that before. Yeah, that would be the juiciest for sure. And speaking of price, it was actually quite reasonable. It was four euros per pizza. Yeah. And then we also paid two euros for like a large bottle of sparkling water. Yeah, so no, no coperto either. No coberto charge. It was 10 euros total. And of course, you do leave a tip at the end. Yeah. But I mean, the waiters are so friendly and so funny. Oh, it's yeah. kind of like part of the charm of the place. It so really first pizzeria, really good so far. On to the next one. Smashing success. Okay, 
Okay guys, so it is time for our second pizza of the day. We have come to Port Alba, which has the distinction of being one of the oldest pizzerias in all of Naples. Apparently this one dates back to 1738. Yeah. That's a long time to be making pizzas. I imagine they've mastered a thing or two. So we've ordered two. I went for the margarita. We're gonna be ordering a margarita at every single restaurant because that's kind of gonna be like the standard. Yeah. Plus we can do an extra one. Sam went for the Sicilian in this case, which looks really good. I know. So yeah, time to dig into our pizzas. Pizza number two, let's do this. Two of five. Mm. <laughs> First bite, here we go. Let's cut into this. It's always quite the task. Get a little bit of everything in there. And in we go. Let's see what Port Alba is all about. Mm. Hit, hit the spot. It's got a really nice tomato base. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm really liking this one. <clears throat> Quite a bit. Oh my gosh, I'm eating my words with my pizza here. <laughs> Let's go in so, for a second bite. It's so good, you just can't stop. Mm. And you're getting it all over your face. Things are gonna get messy here. Things are gonna get messy here. They already are. So time to go in for the Sicilian. And we're yeah. introducing a new pizza to you. We've shown yes. you margaritas. We've shown you the marinara. The marinara. And now we're showing you another specialty pizza. This is the Sicilian. And it comes loaded with salty goodness. We've got olives, we've got capers, we've got anchovies. Oh, and so we don't great. have any we don't have any uh, um, cheese, so no. it should be really And I'm seeing some garlic, so I'm oh, yeah. you're really happy so to I'm try yours. Load up some toppings here. How is it? <laughs> That's so good, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, the olive is potent. Whenever potent. you put whenever you put olives on a pizza, you really taste them. Cool. Mm. This is the if you've been craving something especially salty, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, this is the one for you. This one delivers. This one delivers, and then some. So the classic margarita was five euros, and mine, the Sicilian, was six euros. Another nice cheap meal here in Naples, but very delicious, very filling. And we'll be back tomorrow with three more. Three more pizzas. Three more Still places to, to eat please, pizza. Oh my gosh. Non più dry, far amoroso. Notte giorno, di torno, girano. Delle belle turbando al riposo. Marci se tua dolcino d'amor. Una pizza frita e una torta al riposo. Marci se tua dolcino d'amor. Non più vrai questi bei panachini. Okay guys, a third pizzeria here in Naples and right yes. now we're at Di Matteo. Actually, we're around the corner yeah, from Di Matteo because the local... there's a huge crowd. It's it's not, I, I shouldn't say quiet here, but it's quieter. <laughs> Relatively <laughs> for Naples. Relatively quiet. Um, yeah, so at Di Matteo, they, they, they're really popular for their street food, like street yeah. pizza that you can get to go. So we ordered two different kinds. We got a fried pizza, which Sam will be sampling on camera. Yeah. And I got al forno, which is in the oven. And yeah. it's basically a margarita, pizza. but it comes folded. So yeah. I think they call it portafoglia. Yeah. Because it's been folded in four. They give it to you in a piece of paper. But let me open it up for you. Oh, I know it's oh looking a bit messy, guys, but it's not about the mess. It's about the ingredients. And before I forget, I just want to talk about the prices. Like It is so oh, yeah. cheap to get these. A euro fifty each. One fifty each. Ridiculous. It's the ultimate street food snack here in Naples. Yeah. Street food pizza in Naples. You gotta love it. It's good. Yeah. Real good. All right, so yeah. pizza number two at Di Matteo was the fried variety. Pizza yeah. Pizza. pizza frita. And taking a little bite around the perimeter. Oh, I think there might be some sauce in this part. I'm gonna go. Right. I'm gonna go right for the jugular, right to the, the middle. The jugular. All right, let's bite into the juiciness. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa, it's like some delicious soft cheese in there. Yeah. My goodness. Oh man. I taste. I taste good things. It's it just, it, yeah, it's it's nothing like a, like a traditional pizza or anything, but my goodness, it's so good in there. Just look at that. Look at all the cheese in there. Yeah, I'm seeing cheese oh, my so gosh. far. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Yeah, I still don't know if there's tomato sauce or anything else. I'm well, just getting cheese. We'll have cheese. to keep eating and oh. we'll, we'll keep you updated. Cheese so far, guys. Delicious though. Oh. Cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'orio brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai, quei panachini, 
what capello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. We are still at it. This is our fourth pizzeria here in Naples. This one is called Il Pizzaiolo del Presidente. We're getting a couple cool uh, types of pizzas too. Yeah, so the margarita, of course, because that's our standard, kind of like across the board. And we also got a fried one. This one is going to have more than the cheese. Because at Di Matteo, yes. when we were having street food, we've been into yeah, it and we're like, cheese. what? It was only cheese. Um, so this one, we've ordered salami, pomodoro, and two kinds of cheese. Yeah. So we're waiting. Vai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle te quanto a riposo, ma ci sento a tucino d'amor, delle belle te quanto a riposo. Okay, our fourth margarita pizza. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Actually, there's zero surprise. We've been getting that everywhere. Yeah. And I don't know if we've mentioned this before, but the colors represent the Italian flag. We've got the basil for the green, the mozza, yeah. the buffalo mozza for the mozzarella white. for the white, and the, of course the tomato sauce for the red. The so, Italian flag on yeah. the plate. Let's try that. It looks so good, man. I'm gonna get lots of the basil. Going for basil. Ooh, big chunk of cheese, dude, guys. Huge chunk of cheese. That looks juicy. Yeah, this you can tell this is gonna be a juicy, soupy one. Getting Amazing. in with the hand. Oh yeah, going in for the hand bite. Don't get dirty. Whoop, whoops. I probably shouldn't be using my hands. But. I know it's like fresh out of the oven. I don't know how you're not burning your fingers. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a real deal. Real deal. Real deal. Margarita. That's right up there. That's that's just that's right up there with all the good ones we've had here. Like that's just a really really good classic. Yeah. If I'm compared to some of the other ones, th these guys have put a bit more cheese on. So I'm liking that. Actually, that's true. Yeah. You got quite a bit of cheese. A lot of cheese. Okay, time to introduce you to the fried pizza, which is amazing. I've already cut it in half so you can see the ingredients. Look at that. What's there you inside? Have it. So we've got salami. Yeah. We have have the pomodoro, the tomato, yeah. and we got two different kinds of cheese. You can see the ricotta. Yeah, this one's loaded. Yeah, and this one I think was called provola. This one is jacked. Oh man, oh man. They jacked it. Honestly, I think this one's <laughs> bigger than the margarita. It is. It's like I, I'm sure double. it has a lot more calories too, being you know yeah. deep fried as it is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And we still have to hit up one more pizzeria today. It's With you guys, we are. This is this is all for science. This is all for you. Mm. Delicious. Mm. It's good. The ricotta is so creamy. And we've got music. We've got music. I'll go film it. Anyways, price of the pizzas, yeah, they're six euros each, and there was also a cover charge, the coperto, which is 150 euro per person. So yeah, this this was a little bit more expensive than some of the other places. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, do we need an update? Today has been quite the adventure. Yeah, so we are at Pizza Place 5 of 5. We have accomplished yeah. the mission. This yes. is our third pizza joint, pizzeria of the day. Yeah, fifth total. And, yeah, and we're getting two more pizzas. So yeah. that'll bring us up to six pizzas for the day. We're at a place called La Cantina de Mille. Yeah. And that's right by the train station. We had two other places in mind that we were going to go visit, but yeah. what was the holiday? You remember oh the Oh my name? gosh, today is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. And yeah. it would appear every single person in Naples so is out on the streets. Let me describe it to you like this. Naples, on a normal day, is a very busy and chaotic city. Naples, on a holiday, it's like 10 or 100 xing that. It's like, overwhelming. <laughs> like, you, yeah, I, I've, we've captured it on video and we'll overlay some clips right now just to show you exactly what we're talking about. Anyways, we found a place. Um, we're gonna, we've ordered two more pizzas. We're going back to our default. We're going back to the margarita and the marinara. And digging into the marinara here. This looks so good. I like the big chunks of garlic. Oh my gosh, a little bit of a sad moment. Our final pizza in Naples. Our last pizza in Naples. That's this it, one has the thickest crust we've seen. It's like yeah. nice and bubbly. Mine too. Yeah, it looks good. 
Bubbly goodness. So here we go. Digging in. Dig right in. That looks super juicy. Super juicy. Super nice juicy. and soupy. The Napoli way. The Napoli way to mm. eat pizza. It's good. It's a spot? It really is good. That's good. Mm. And? We were actually wondering, like, are the pizzas going to be good near to the train station? Yeah. So, you know, that's like super touristy. First thing you do, you get off the train, there's a whole bunch of restaurants. So we were kind of worried what the quality would be like. But it no, should. it's good. I think in Naples, they just know how to make their pizza. Yeah, I, I don't... It doesn't matter I don't, where you go. It, it'd be hard to survive as a business if we didn't make a decent pizza yeah. here. There's just so much competition. This is it, guys. The last margarita. And in case you haven't memorized yet, Tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil. Yeah. Oh yeah. The key you got, ingredients. You got the flag of Italy right here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little Elvis move over there. Cocking your head. That's, like, they've given a really thick amount of, uh, geez, this is good. This is good, and it's juicy. It's juicy. It's not as quite as juicy and, and soupy as some of the other places, but it's, it's still quite good. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. It's probably a good thing I didn't live here. I I'd probably weigh like 500 pounds. I don't think I could control myself with the pizza in this city. All right, fifth pizzeria. Let's talk about the price. That one was three euros for the marinara, seven euros for, for the margarita with the special buffalo mozzarella. So yeah, we are feeling pretty stuffed. I feel like we're not gonna be eating pizza for Ten, a long time. Guys, listen to this. 10 pizzas in, in two, two days. two days, that's a lot of pizza. Less than 48 hours. More like 30 something hours, 10 pizzas. Yeah. Between so, two people. Uh, right now we're gonna hop on the train go back to our airbnb once we've had a chance to digest the food and yeah. gather our thoughts we're gonna let you know what we thought of all the five pizzerias and choose the best there you go Alle gloria militar, cherubin va la vittoria, alle gloria militar. Well, 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 that was a lot of pizza in a very short amount of time. Yeah. We are now back at our Airbnb <laughs> here in Pompeii. <laughs> we're still digesting. <laughs> we still are. I think we're going to be digesting pizza for a yeah. long time. But anyways, we wrote down a few notes about yes. our thoughts on the five pizzerias we visited yeah. these couple of days. So basically, this is one positive comment for every place that we went to. Yes. And at the very end, we'll reveal what we thought was what the was best. was our favorite. Okay, so I I figured we could start with the most recent one and work our way back. The last pizzeria we visited, number five, was La Cantina de Mille. And what did we like for this one? They had really fluffy crust. Yeah. And your nose, you put like a cloud. <laughs> it was like a cloud. <laughs> it was like, it was thick but fluffy. Yeah. Like the crust was really wide. Definitely but it had the like air crust. pockets. Yeah. I really like the crust. That yeah. was good. Yeah. In an air pocket kind of way. It, was, it wasn't thick way. and heavy. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, going back, number four was Dal Presidente. Yeah. And what we really noticed was for the margarita, they had a really mm -hmm. generous amount of cheese. Yes. And it tasted really good. Yeah. So that's something we really liked about uh, there. Mm hmm. And then before that, oh, yeah. it was Di Matteo for oh, the street gosh. pizza. The street pizza. And what, what speaks to me is the value, like for a euro fifty? Yes. Whoa. Like getting both of them, I could see myself alternating it. If I lived there, I'd probably be eating there every day for oh a street goodness. snack. Yeah, so that one was a really good value. But I will say, when they fold the pizza in four, like the tomato sauce and cheese ratio isn't quite right. I feel like the juiciness just sinks to the bottom, to that little triangle. Mm -hmm. So then the bread is like a little bit drier. But that's just me being a picky foodie. <laughs> the pizza <laughs> was good. Yeah, for a year 50. Yeah. yeah. Okay, going back to the previous day, the right. last one of the day was Antica Pizzeria yeah, Portalba. That's the one we had at night. Um, yeah. So you thought it had the best tomato sauce? Yeah. I also really liked having some like seafood ingredients in mine as well. Oh yeah, you got the Sicilian, but, right? Yeah, the place lacked some atmosphere. I don't know if it's like because we went off hour, it wasn't quite, it was yeah. before seven, but it just didn't have, we didn't see many other lively. people there. It wasn't lively. Yeah, no. it was and just it, like, oh. There was nothing special inside, but the yeah. pizza was good. Pizza, pizza was, was good. good. 
And that brings us to number one, the first pizzeria we visited, and that's Da Michele, the one where yeah. Julia Roberts had her eat, pray, love pizza movement. <laughs> um, and there was a lot to like about that oh, pizzeria. Yeah. Like that one had the yeah. atmosphere, yeah. the waiters were super friendly and like yeah. joking around. We, we, we sat right by the pizza oven so we got mm -hmm. to see the whole process. Yeah. And just that was probably just the best overall pizza. Like yeah. you can't top that. Yeah. At least, at least in my opinion, everything was good the about size, it. The size, like that pizza was coming off the plate yeah. and it was so Juicy, yeah, like so so juicy. Probably the juicy, probably, probably also the busiest place, though, too. Yes, um, so if you go there, you might want to do what we did and arrive when it first opens. Yeah, we were just there just before it opens yeah. because people were already gathered we were there at like at the 10 door. to 11. Yeah, and we were one of the first wave of customers to come in right at 11. Yeah, so yeah, that was an insane pizza taste test in Naples. Like, mm -hmm. I really feel like we got to try the best pizzas in the whole city and mm -hmm. that makes me really happy because I love pizza yeah. and now it's kind of it's like raised my standards I now I know what <laughs> oh. a prop I know what a proper Naples pizza tastes like yeah and I would come back to the city to do to explore more but of course also to eat a whole lot more pizza so those are our thoughts on the five pizzerias but now yeah. we want to hear from you guys yes. if you've actually traveled to Naples yeah and you've had some amazing pizza let us Please know let where. us know. Yeah, like include the the name of the place and what you the, ordered. Yeah, Was what you ordered, the, the style of pizza to get. Oh. And also, if you think there's a better pizza yes. somewhere else outside of Naples, let us know as well because maybe we need to go <laughs> eat there. There you go. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed following yeah. along on this pizza adventure in Naples. It was a lot of fun. It sure was fun. Yeah, like, it was tasty. Yeah. I could do it again, but not tomorrow. <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> I think we need a siesta now, yeah. so we're gonna sign out and see you in the next food video. See you guys. Ta -ta. Ciao. Alla gloria mia.